How's it going everyone? Jimmy here with Kyle to talk a little bit about the uh, Black Friday mega sale we have going on and also to bring you guys our winter essentials. These are everything we kind of like to bring with us or like to have when we're fishing in the cold weather. Just a quick reminder, the Black Friday mega sale is going to start on Thursday. It's going to start Thanksgiving Day and it's going to run through Sunday. Everything you see here is going to be 10% off and GI jigs are going to be 20% off. So we got really awesome deals, a couple highlighted things also on sale. Stop in, check it out. And uh, let's get started with the clothing. Yeah, so we've got some really sweet Grundon's windproof gear here, guys. All of that's gonna be on sale. Yeah, 10% off that. And then also the famous AFCO Reaper sweatshirt. This one has that little buff in the front. It's got insulation on the inside. It's gonna keep you super warm when you're out there in the cold. These are really, really nice sweatshirts. We sold a ton of them last year and people really seem to like them. Keep One of my like favorites for winter fishing, obviously a necessity, is going to be gloves, guys. And for all us fishermen, we know that we need a good pair of fingerless gloves. So we got a couple options for you here. We got the Fish Monkey fingerless gloves. These are wool. They hold up really well. Uh, work great for all you kayak fishermen. And then we also have uh, kind of a more mitt style glove. Um, these work great as well, more insulative. You can even pair the two. Um, but those are going to be on sale 10% off as well. Yeah. Um, theme with the theme. Beanies, you can never have enough hats, and we happen to have some that I really think just look awesome. All the uh, snakehead ones got a really cool patch on them, um, and we got a ton of different colors in those, and they just they're comfortable, they fit nice, and they look good. And one of the newest products to the lineup here, guys, we got Darn Tough Socks. And uh, kind of the big seller on these is that they are guaranteed for life, guys. So uh, kind of the last pair of socks you're ever going to need to buy. Those are going to be 10% off as well. So let's kind of start with the rockfish. Seems to be kind of on their last leg. Some guys are still doing all right. Winter essentials for them is basically just going to be some bigger baits. They're kind of pushing down deep. Guys are catching them much deeper this time of year. So I got ounce and a half and two ounce jigs from GI. Uh, and then I got 10 inch BKDs to go along with them. For all you guys fishing the warm water discharges, it's going to kind of heat up here in the next month or two. This is mainly going to be what you're using out there. Um, and then for you guys who are still maybe fishing out in the main bay or fishing in the rivers and still catching those last fish, I got two baits for you. I have the Rapala Ripstop Deep. This one's just going to go a little bit deeper than a normal jerk bait. This one's going to be in the five to six foot range. So if you're fishing those points and ledges that they're kind of hanging on to, um, you can kind of get down a little bit deeper and target them. And I also have a bait called a Spy Bait from Spro. Um, this bait is designed to just kind of be a very subtle clear water presentation as the bait's dying off and everything's cooling down. This one you pretty much just tie on and it's got these little props and you're basically just going to cast it out there let it sink straight retrieve it it's a super super small subtle profile uh, as that bait's dying down the bait's getting smaller and the fish are pushing deeper uh, these kind of more subtle baits are going to be key to catching them you want to talk a little bit about some freshwater stuff yeah and uh something to note as well i actually really like both of these baits for freshwater as well so you can take both of these applications and techniques over to freshwater straight across no modifications necessary fish them exactly the same target some of those freshwater species um, or even low salinity brackish species up in the creeks uh, but then can kick it over to more freshwater specific i really like um, kind of these bait fish impersonators so personally i go to metals um, or like kind of strong chrome reflective baits um, again kind of keeping it kind of small finessier approach um, but trying to trigger some of those reaction strikes or some of those more sluggish fish that are kind of holding down deep um, and then just chasing you know a, a, a small bait fish as it were to swim by yeah. um, we got a couple other things for you here yeah so maybe you're trying the moving baits and the fish just don't want to move they're hunkered down they're cold they don't want to do anything so I'm going to switch over to something like a jig, something, the black and blue is kind of the classic winter jig color, just something I can crawl along the bottom super slowly that just has that bulky profile. Um, those fish who don't want to move as much and who are a little bit more sluggish, you can drag stuff on the bottom and still kind of try and grab their attention and maybe get a, a strike from them. Um, you got a chick magnet over there too? Yeah, so actually I'm keeping in line with kind of the bait fish impersonators, I really like uh, just a, a crankbait, but more specifically a flat-sided crankbait. And um, again, don't be afraid of kind of a larger or louder profile when it comes to these flat-sided crankbaits. They're kind of a more subtle approach in how they have their hunting action on the straight retrieve. They're just gonna scrape and bump the bottom all the way in and trigger those reaction strikes. Uh, again, we're trying to trigger a core feeding response and you can do the same with a rattle trap as well. Um, as opposed to fishing it more uh, on a vertical jigging approach, you can actually kind of bring this in on a straight retrieve and fish it more like a crankbait um, and try and bring fish up as well. Um, and then we also have some smaller jigs here. Yes, kind of looking ahead. So we 
been doing decent with some crappie in the ponds and the reservoirs. Um, perch are going to start moving up in the creeks and everything. So kind of preemptively, I put these out there. My favorite lure to fish in the winter is just going to be a feather jig under a bobber for white perch, yellow perch, crappie, bluegill, just about every panfish will eat that simple setup. It doesn't take a lot to put together and they're, they're very fun and very cheap to fish. So think ahead. You got a lot of stuff going on now. Rockfish are kind of dying back. The pickle are heating up really good and the perch should be here any day now. So stop in. Got one last chance before the end of the year to kind of load up on some sale items and uh, come check it out.